What's going on, guys? We got more of Phillip Brooks's junior season at Florida playing quarterback. The Gators coming into this game 3-0 against the Tennessee Volunteers. Looking to put another W in the win column. First quarter, Brooks out of the gun. He's going to go deep on the right side. Fitted in between a couple of defenders to his receiver. And he's off to the races. Florida getting an early touchdown and take the lead at 7-3. So now later in the first quarter, Tennessee would add another field goal, and Phillip Brooks going back to work, hitting his running back out of the backfield close to midfield. And now time winding down in the first quarter, second and 15. Brooks evades the pressure and gets the screen pass off to his running back who breaks a tackle, sheds another defender, and is finally pushed out. Now they're in business, deep in Tennessee territory, and Brooks looking over the middle, finds his reliable target, the tight end for a touchdown. 14-6 Tennessee, but Tennessee would battle back. They would get a two-point lead on the Gators, but another screen pass and a huge gash into the Volunteers' defense. Nice nifty moves along the sideline. It's a long completion into Tennessee territory. And now Brooks shakes the defender, and he's going to pick up a first down, getting to the 10-yard line for the Gators, and they would add a touchdown before the half. Now in the second half, third quarter, going deep right side, and a completion to the running back on the right sideline would help them add to their lead and now Tennessee still battling back it's 28-23 in favor of the Gators and more broken tackles for this Florida Gators offense they're getting a lot of yards after the catch and now the Gators are trying to add to their lead second and 11 and Brooks back to pass but he's gonna step back up in the pocket maneuver around and do the smart thing he gets out of bounds does not take the chance doesn't want to risk a fumble and they would score but Tennessee would also answer back and so it's 31 all fourth quarter minute and a half left Brooks wants to get Florida's team down the field and at least get a field goal and win this game there's a completion that gets to the 40 yard line now working on first and 10 about a minute left in this game Brooks rolling to his right and then releases the pass and it's complete to his reliable tight end who gets close to midfield and now working in Tennessee territory first down 50 seconds remaining Brooks steps up and slides gets eight yards on the play and now second and goal with four seconds remaining the kicker knocks home the field goal ball game Florida wins by three Brooks throws for 300 yards two touchdowns and leads the Gators to an impressive fourth quarter victory but next up more SEC play as the Florida Gators travel to Kentucky to take on the Wildcats Florida 4-0 looking to extend their winning streak. We'll go into the game first quarter, second and 16, and the conversion goes once again to the tight end. Is anybody really surprised? I mean, Brooks and his tight end have an incredible connection. And here we see it again on the right sideline, and he shakes a defender. Brooks' passing skills have really improved this season. Now second and 12, high snap, but Brooks takes it under control, and he's just going to step up in the pocket, take off, dive ahead for a 15-yard gain. And now third and 21, looking towards the end zone, but it's picked off. Tight end didn't get his head around, and it was a great play by the safety, but a quick turnover by the Gators. We give him the ball back, and this time attacking, going for that tight end once again, and this time it works out for Florida. Second quarter now, still 7-0, to and once again, Brooks finds his tight end, who shakes a defender, gets into Kentucky territory, trying to add on to the seven-point lead, and Brooks' pass for his second tight end would fall incomplete and bring up fourth and one. Brooks looking to pass, steps up in the pocket, and he's just going to be tackled for the first down. He didn't even take off that time, so the drive continues, and the quick pass once again to the backup tight end. This time it's a touchdown. Brooks loves to throw to those tight ends. They're great safety blankets, and Florida has a, a pair of incredible weapons for Brooks to throw it to. But on that last play, Brooks would get sacked. He would leave the game for the remainder. Florida would go on to win 35-0, but Brooks will be back for the next game. Don't worry. He was just shaking up a little bit, but now it's LSU on the road, and Brooks has never beaten LSU in his career, and he's got a lot more to worry about than this caged animal. He's got to worry about the LSU defense and keeping up with their high-scoring offense. This was a true test for Phillip Brooks and the 5-0 Gators as Brooks tries to solidify himself as one of the top quarterbacks in the nation. And he takes off on this play, gets close to midfield. We got no score in the first quarter and now play action. Brooks once again stepping up. Good coverage by the Tigers, but 
Unable to contain the fast quarterback. Now Brooks out of the gun. He finds his running back out of the backfield. That'll be a first down getting to roughly the 30-yard line of LSU. That would lead to a field goal, but LSU would answer with a touchdown. And now the pressure is getting to Phillip Brooks. He's got to get the ball away earlier or tuck it and run. Now third and 11 out of the gun. Brooks back to pass, and he finds his tight end in front of the safety. It'll be another Gators first down. Now in the second quarter, Brooks takes the hit, remains calm, and delivers the first down strike to his tight end once again. And so Brooks becoming a much better pocket passer, and this time he goes deep on the right side. It's a touchdown for Florida. They go up, but LSU would answer back, and now we'll jump to the third quarter late in the game, and now it's 17-23 to LSU. Brooks' pass is dropped by a receiver, and now on third and six, trying to remove the chains, and Brooks hooks up with his tight end once again over the middle, but now working on fourth and four in the fourth quarter, Brooks wanting to extend the drive, and the pass is incomplete. It looked like a pretty good throw, but the receiver did not get his head around, but a quick interception by the Florida Gators defense would get him back on offense, and this time, Brooks hits his running back for a screen pass that goes for seven yards. And now play action. Brooks maneuvering around in the pocket. And he steps up and he's going to slide after getting a first down. Tremendous run by the dual threat quarterback. And now second and ten. Three and a half remaining in this ball game. And once again, Brooks takes off. He's got a whole bunch of green in front of him. It's a touchdown for the Gators. And the extra point attempt would give the Gators the lead. It's up and good. And so it's a one point lead for the Gators. But LSU would answer with a touchdown, miss the two-point conversion, and so all Florida needs is a touchdown to win this game, and Brooks takes off, gets the first down. Not going to force a pass in a big game like this. He's playing like a smart quarterback. And now he steps up in the pocket and maneuvers and throws a pass to his tight end. That was just a great play by the junior quarterback. And now first and ten, we got a minute and a quarter remaining in this game. And now first down, Brooks back to pass, but he's met by an LSU defensive lineman who puts him down, sacked on the play, and now third and long, trying to extend this drive, want to win this game, and Brooks rolls to his right, and then releases a great pass. What a catch by number four. It's a first down for the Gators. They're now at the LSU 34-yard line. They're trying to work their way into the end zone. Brooks releasing a pass over the middle, and it's caught by the tight end. It'll be another first down, but a holding penalty pushes him back. And now on first and 20, the tight end is unable to come up with a grab, and so second and 20. Under 30 seconds remaining. Brooks looking on the right side, and it's just knocked down. And so third and 20, and now Brooks still out running out of that tight shotgun formation over the middle, and it's batted away by another LSU defender. So here it is, folks. One more play, fourth and 20. Brooks trying to lead the Gators to a come-from-behind victory. Fourth quarter comeback, this would be huge. Brooks out of the gun, running back to his left, three wide receivers and a tight end, looking over the middle, and it's knocked away once again. Great play by the LSU defense. Florida cannot knock off LSU. Brooks is 0-3 against the Tigers, dropped a 5-1 on the year, but Brooks is still having a great year. The Gators can still go to a big bowl game but they're going to need to keep playing well the rest of the season and play well in the SEC Conference games. And so, hope you guys enjoy this episode of the Philip Brooks series, and I'll see you guys in the next commentary. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Have a great day, everybody. I'll see you guys later.